Liberty University, one of the largest online universities in the world, but are they all that good? Are they transfer friendly? What's their cost like? Do they have good degree choice? And what's the student experience? Those are the four categories we're gonna be grading LUO on today. We're gonna to average the grades out into a GPA and see if LUO has what it takes to get at least a 3.0 GPA to be a solid hackable college. And you know what guys? I've got the inside scoop because not only did I teach at LUO, but I also got one of my degrees there. So today's episode is gonna be really juicy. And if you want help building a degree plan for LUO, or you wanna find a college or major that's a great fit for you so you can graduate quickly and inexpensively so you can build a career that you love, sign up for a consultation with my team at the link in the description, and we will set you up for success. LUO is incredibly transfer friendly, maybe the most transfer friendly school I've ever interacted with. Not only do they like the big five of study.com, Sophia, CLEP, DSST, and Straighter Line, but they have their own in-house version of CLEP. They give work experience credit. They let you send certifications in and they might give you credit for that. They give credit for military experience. And sometimes they'll even accept credit from nationally accredited institutions. Back when I was working as a faculty member there and even doing some advising of students, I'd see students come in with credit for all sorts of crazy things. And I'd even see credit from as far back as the 70s. Liberty probably doesn't take everything, but they sure get awfully close when it comes to transfer. That being said, they still do require that at least 25% of the degree be done through LUO, but for a lot of the degrees that they offer, you are able to hack the other 90 in some way or another. Because of all of that, of course, LUO gets an A for transfer friendliness. Liberty University charges $390 per credit hour if you're acting as a full-time student. It's slightly more if you're only taking like one class at a time, but if you're military, you can only pay $250 per credit, which is insanely good. As far as I know off the top of my head, that's like the best discount for military I think I've seen ever in higher education. Of course, for the rest of us civilians, if you're paying the 390 per credit hour, if you went straight to Liberty, did no hacking, you'd be spending just under $50,000, and the average cost of an online bachelor's degree is around 51000 Of course, if you're hacking the degree, you could pay as little as $13,000 in tuition and fees. So overall, decently affordable, not the most affordable hackable college, um, but still pretty good. So we're going to give it a B for cost. When we talk about degree options, we're talking about two things. We're talking about variety, types of degrees that you could earn there, and then flexibility of the degrees, like how much of this degree could we actually hack? And if you look at Liberty compared to other schools out there, it is one of the best, if not the best, for this category. Liberty University has 172 online bachelor's degrees. Now, admittedly, uh, like a zillion of those are remixes of the business degree or psychology degree that just have a bunch of different specializations where you add a few credits and you know you specialize in something different. But even still, they have a lot of degree choices there that you just would be hard pressed to find anywhere else online. Some of the more niche ones they've got, they've got gaming design, um, they're a Christian institution, so they have a lot of theology and ministry-based courses, and they even have a degree that, me personally, I haven't found anywhere else online yet, a social work bachelor's degree. As for flexibility, the degrees are fairly flexible. Typically, the more specialized you get, or if you just pick a specialization instead of getting like the generic business or generic psychology degree, then it's gonna be less hackable. But if you're picking one of the more generic degrees, you should expect to only have to take somewhere between like 30 and 45 credits, which is pretty good for college hacking. And this is due to the fact that their their general education is usually somewhere in the high 30s to the low 40s for the number of credits that you have to take. And if you transfer in enough credits, you can actually waive like up to 11 credits to the general education that just become free electives that you can hack however you want. They also have a great Chipotle degree like I talk about in this video called Interdisciplinary Studies that I used to work a lot with um, and actually I think they never really rescinded my title as director of that program. So I think I'm technically still the director of the largest Chipotle degree in the world, which is a nice little ego boost, but functionally doesn't mean anything because I don't do anything and they don't pay me. I think my name's just like in there somewhere. But with that degree, you can almost completely customize the entire major and all of the free electives. It's one of the, the coolest degrees out there. And so because Liberty has a ton of degrees to choose from, and because many of them are very flexible, of course, we're going to give Liberty an A. Final question. Is LUO a good school to graduate from? First, let's acknowledge that LUO is very similar to a lot of the other sort of big box colleges that we've talked about on this channel. Schools like SNHU, 
maybe Grand Canyon, which we haven't talked about yet, but we might in the future. Um, and even similar to some of the asynchronous for profits. Basically, they're all a little bit like Walmart, which can be both good and bad. Essentially, you'll go there, you'll find exactly what you need, you'll go in, you'll go out, um, they've got decent customer service, and the prices are going to be pretty good. But this is not like going to a little mom and pop boutique where you're going to find something unique and cool and interesting that's specialized to you. No, like everything is very, very standardized. And let me explain what I mean with some examples. First, their admissions rate is 99%. You're very likely to get in. Second, their graduation rate is 32%. So for every one student who actually graduates, two drop out. They're kind of on the low to normal average end for for online school graduation. It's not great, but it's not as bad as some of the for-profits. I will say I think the experience a lot of people have had is that the customer service on the admissions end, essentially the sales end, is really, really good. They'll answer a bunch of questions. They're so friendly, they're so nice. You always get in contact with somebody. Um, the advisors tend to also be pretty good too, I think better than a lot of schools out there. But this is some insider knowledge for you. Essentially, the way that the Liberty ecosystem works is a lot of the residential students who go there because they have a residential program, they have a campus, um, they'll graduate and they'll be looking for their, their job to go into their career field. And while they wait, they'll typically go work for admissions or advising for LUO. And as a result, um, a lot of the advisors have only been there for like three months, six months, under a year. And there's not as much institutional knowledge built up. And so you might find when you call advising that you're spending a little bit more time on hold waiting to talk to somebody who's actually been there for more than five minutes and knows what they're talking about. But also speaking of customer service, their faculty are held, I think, to higher standards than most faculty at most online schools. And what I mean by that is there are some very like clear metrics that LUO faculty have to adhere to. They have to respond to emails within 36 hours. They don't always, but they're supposed to. Um, and they have to grade things within five days of the final submission date. So if you've ever gone two weeks waiting for a faculty member to get back to you on what your grade was on your final, well, hopefully most of the time that's not going to happen at Liberty. Of course, some faculty, the feedback you get back is going to be like three comments about your APA and they're going to give you a hundred and you're going to be like, I actually wanted to get better. Tell me something else. And then some of the other faculty are going to give you like super in-depth notes and give you really good information. And you're going to feel like, you know, you had a great grading experience. As somebody who went through the PhD in higher education administration online with them, uh, I felt like that was the case there too, where about half of the people would give helpful feedback. And I felt like I learned from what my professor said about my papers and the other half, um, I was just getting hundreds all the time super easily. <laughs> LU has a very standardized asynchronous approach to education. Essentially, that means that there's no live lectures or live discussions. You will you know, do a lot of the reading and a lot of the video watching and a lot of the homework on your own, and then you'll get feedback at the end. You might have interaction with classmates in a discussion board, um, but other than that, it's, it's kind of like a, a solitary experience like a lot of online higher education that is affordable. Typically, if you have, you know, live interactions, that's more work on everybody's part, and so that'll cost more. A few other things to think about, Liberty is regionally accredited, so there's not gonna be an issue with like the quality of your degree when you're ready to go on to grad school or to get a job with it. Um, another thing to think about is that they are a Christian institution, and some of their students really, really like that. Some of their students just grin and bear it, but plenty of people go through who are not Christians, and plenty of people go there specifically because they want a Christian education. You just have to decide what's right for you in that situation. Typically, um, per course, there's gonna be like one lecture or one assignment that talks about, you know, taking the principles of whatever the course is on and applying Christian principles to them. And finally, if you look at student reviews um, from US News, Niche, Grad Reports, and Online Degrees, LUO's score averages out to a 3.7 out of 5. Most student complaints are centered on four things. Number one, there was uh, this general complaint of some people said there was too much biblical integration and, and other people were saying that there was not enough. And so, you know, we'll just say that those guys kind of cancel each other out. Several students complained that when life circumstances hit them hard, that faculty and administration weren't really understanding. Um, and Based on, on my experience on the back end of this, and this is a caveat I'd give for these kinds of reviews for any school, um, there's always two sides to the story. And so I'm sure there are some students who slip through the crack, but from, from my experience, Liberty tries really hard to work with students, especially students who give notice in advance if they know that something bad is going to happen. The third complaint was just what I had mentioned earlier about the advising team not always being the most helpful, even though I think probably for online education, they're probably okay. And then fourth was a, as a complaint that we hear for almost every online institution, again, um, just a, a, a low quality of education some students felt like where they didn't get that interaction they were looking for, they didn't like the grading feedback they got, 
and um, they just felt like the course, you know, maybe they didn't feel like the course had the right content they were looking for, um, or they thought it was too simplistic or too easy or too hard. Um, just a lot of people who weren't quite appreciative of the quality. So that's a lot of information to throw at you, but let me kind of condense it all down into a letter grade. Uh, I think that Liberty does hit some of the pitfalls that a lot of online higher education hits, but there are some things that they do really well. Um, and I think one of the things that really stands out to me is the fact that their faculty have to grade things within five days and that they have to respond to emails and that there's like a level of accountability there so that students aren't feeling lost. Because of all of that, I'm going to say Liberty is slightly higher than average for student experience and give them a B. So in sum and in average, LUO gets a 3.5 GPA. They've got great degrees to choose from. They've got pretty decent costs. Um, their student experience isn't really anything to write home about, but they are so transfer friendly and their degrees are often very, very flexible. While it's not going to be a perfect fit for everyone, LUO will be a perfect fit for some people who are looking for a very specific degree, looking for a Christian perspective, whatever it may be, um, LUO probably has something for you. And if you want more LUO content, you can check out this video where I actually hacked an LUO business administration degree. It is a little bit dated, so it might not be completely up to date, but you can kind of see the, the basic idea of how this works with LUO. And of course, if you want help putting a personalized plan together for going back to college at either LUO or any of the other schools that we talk about on this channel, or maybe even a college that I don't talk about on this channel, we would love to help you. You can sign up at the link in the description, um, and we're looking forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy hacking.